today we've just had um, five cattle delivered. So we've housed these in here, and this is what you're going to see now, which is a typical room in ISO 10 with cattle housed in it. If you like to come in nice and quietly. So they'll have a, a five day settling in period. Then after the, day, the settling in period, they will then have their, they will take what we call clean samples from them, which is clean blood samples, do all our clinical checks then they'll be vaccinated on that day and so they'll be here then for 21 days while they're vaccinated and then basically within that time there will be an odd blood sample here and there so obviously they can keep an eye on to see how the vaccine's doing after 21 days on day 21 the animals are then challenged with the fmd the foot and mouth disease and then normally kept up to seven days after challenge because normally by day seven you've, e you, you, you've then got to the height and anything that would have got sick would have been sick by then. And they're quite nervous when they first come in but within moments as you can see here this one's already having a little sniff just, just and a lick. Within a few days you'll find that they'll come to the point where I can actually go up a lot closer than this and actually start stroking them. So this is how we want them to be. We want them to be friendly. So when we're handling them, they get used to that and they don't mind being handled. And it, it does cut down on the stress if you have close contact with them. Um, and this one's quite friendly, but these are quite young. So they'll, they'll, they'll become friendly very quickly, won't you? Yes, yes you will. They have mats for laying on. Um, we have a hay rack where we fill up with hay. Um, these will be monitored twice a day and if not more often to start with, just to make sure there's no ill health or anything that we may notice with them. At the moment, the excrement is not too bad. You can sometimes find it a little bit loose when they first come in because of obviously it's a bit of an upset to them for the, through the travelling. So there's a farm that we use for these cattle. So our, our vet and the um, head of animal services normally goes up and has a look at the cattle, orders what they need, then they'll go and inspect the farm, check the animals that they want before they're delivered to us. We're going to infect one animal with the virus that we're planning to use then when that animal shows clinical signs in all four feet that animal will be euthanized and we will remove the lesion tissue to then titrate it up to inject into these animals so basically these will be vaccinated with different in within different amounts of vaccine so you'll have a high group of vaccine a bit lower and a bit lower the animals are vaccinated and they stand for 21 days after vaccination that's the standard then what will happen is we'll then come in we'll sedate the animals they'll be down on the floor sedated in a nice comfortable position then what will happen is we'll come in with the um, virus and these animals will be injected into the tongue. The reason it's, been, it's going to be, that's why they have to be sedated to inject them in the tongue. It has to be done by the tongue because that's a set standard for testing FMD vaccines. Then once they've been infected, they'll be given a reversal drug to bring them straight back round. And then after that, it's a case of close monitoring, rectal temperatures, samples are taken on a um, daily basis. The sampling is normally done by the animal technicians, myself and my members of staff. We'll be checking them physically every day, so every animal will be caught. Their feet will all be checked, their mouth will be checked, because it has to be closely monitored. Because with, with FMD, you, you may in the morning can check them and not see anything, then in the afternoon a lesion can appear. With FMD, depending on the type of virus, you can see clinical signs within day three. With vaccinated animals, depending on the dose of vaccine, some you won't see anything if the vaccine's good. Some, if the vaccine's slightly lower dose, you may see an odd lesion in the mouth. You're gonna see lesions in the mouth anyway, because obviously that's where you've infected them. But what you want to know is whether that then passes down through the body and gets to the feet. We'll pick the foot up. 
Um, you'll hold the foot, make sure it's nice and clean, and you'll check in between the digital digits and the in underneath, and then basically you'll see clear lesions on there. If the animal reaches its end point, before it gets to its end point, it's normally euthanized. Um, with these, if it gets to three feet, it will be euthanized because basically the vaccine hasn't done the job. This is a new vaccine, so obviously this is part of a trial to make sure the vaccine does actually work. And then at the end, they're euthanized and not any samples, we do PMs on them. So basically we anybody who needs tissue samples or anything like that we've used the animal to its full potential and then after that the animals are used um, incinerated on site so we do everything here it's all done within the containment of these buildings <laughs>